Hello, can Hello? you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Right. Great. Welcome. Cool. Is this your uh, first uh, practice interview on interviewing I.O.? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Well, welcome. I'll be conducting your practice interview here today. Uh, this interview should last some uh, 30, 35, maybe 40 minutes or so. Um, I'll start off by giving you a quick back myself, and then I'll turn it over to you. Um, you can feel free to share as much as you're willing to share. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after all that, we'll get into the actual interview itself. Okay, sounds good. So I've been in the industry for about uh, 19 years. I've worked on some front end stuff, but mostly back end systems. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm a software development manager at Amazon. So I'll turn it over okay. to you. Share as much as you want to share. Sure. Um, so I guess I have a master's in computer science um, from Cal Poly that I and I graduated a couple years ago. Um, I also I did an internship at Amazon. Um, and then I worked uh, for about over a year at Western Digital as a full stack engineer um, for their internal tools team. So um, yeah, a lot of front end as well as back end, um, just supporting different teams within the company. Um, and right now I'm interviewing for, I'm interviewing for like new positions. Okay, sounds good. Why don't you go ahead and select the language of your choice where it says plain text and we'll start from there. Okay, um, I'm gonna use Java. Okay, so while I clean all this up, can you just tell me in one or two sentences very, very quickly what grep does in Linux? Do you know what grep does in Linux? Um, yeah, so grep looks for a certain word in within a file. Yep, uh -huh. great. So what I'm actually going to ask you to do is actually implement some part of grep here in Java. So let's say there's a function that returns an int array. You can also choose to return a list if you want. Okay. Um, and it takes in two strings, a string called haystack and a string called needle. So essentially what you'll be doing is you'll be looking for the needle in the haystack. So okay. for example, let's say haystack is something like this. A, 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 B, C, D, 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 B, B, D, 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 A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I. And let's say needle is A, B, C. And what you would do is you would return all the indices in which you find the needle in the haystack. So in that above example, you return 2 and 14. Okay. So the 2 would correspond to an index that belongs to this ABC, and 14 would be for this ABC. Does that all sort of make sense? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, so essentially, we're going to have two strings as the input. Um, and then, yeah, we just return the starting indice wherever we have a match. Yep, exactly. Right. OK. Um, are we guaranteed that the needle is going to be less than the haystack? No, you oh, should handle all okay. those edge cases and error conditions. OK. Mm, all right. Um, so what I'm thinking is we can have a pointer pointing at the beginning of the haystack. Um, and then we can iterate through. And then whenever we find a match in the first character, um, then we can compare the rest of the, the needle within the haystack uh, starting at that index. Um, and then if we have a match, we just record that index. Um, and then we go all the way through until we get to the end okay. of the string. OK, can you go into a little bit more detail? How are you going to compare the needle and, the, and that sort of window of characters? Um, the needle and the window of characters. So I guess I could have like a helper function, and I pass in the needle as well as the haystack with the index that I'm going to start at with the haystack. And then I could do like a character by character. I could either do a substring comparison, or I could just do character by character. OK. Uh, so which one would be more efficient? Um, probably doing the character by, well, if, I guess if we're talking about space complexity, um, if we're doing a substring, it's going to create a new string if I do a substring. Um, and then I guess for time complexity, it'll probably be the same because it, I'll still have to okay. compare every character. So it'd probably be okay. better just to use the pointer. So okay. So if you already do that character by character, um, um, approach. Uh, what would be the overall time and space complexity? Um, so the so the space complexity should be the the um, big O of the size of needle. 
actually, no, sorry, the space okay. complexity should be constant because we're not adding any additional okay. space. Um, okay. And then, yeah, the time complexity will be the size of haystack, the characters in haystack. Um, and then I think when we're doing a comparison from haystack and needle, um, so every time we find a match, we are doing a string by string comparison. Um, so I think it would be like big O of um, K plus or K times L where K and L are the size of haystack and needle. Okay, sounds good. Why don't you okay. go ahead and get started on implementing um, this approach and then we'll take it from there. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good. Um, so as we said, um, we can either return in an array or a list. I'll just do a list. Um, and it's going to be a list of integers. Um, I guess we'll just call it needle haystack. So we're going to have yeah, two strings. And then we're going to have a pointer. So we'll do while P is less than, so we have to make sure that once we get to, um, say we get to like on the haystack, once we get to like the second to last letter H, we don't want to like, we're, we already know we're done because it's less than the size of needle. So there's no way we could be a match. Um, so what we can do is we can do while P is less than, um, haystack dot length. Uh, minus needle dot length. Um, and as you mentioned, um, if, if uh, needle is greater than haystack, then we know we can't have any matches. So then we could just return, um, we can just return our empty list. So let's create that list now. Results. Okay. So, so here in this while loop, we have while p is less than haystack dot length. So if haystack here is, we'll just say I don't know how many that is, but we'll say if it's like ten, and then needle is abc, it'll be while p is less than seven. So I think that should work. Um, so as I mentioned, we're going to go through and we're going to see if um, if uh, if haystack dot char at p equals um, needle dot char at zero. Um, then we'll do we'll have like a helper function here that will do a comparison of the strings and if it's true then we'll add it p to result. So yeah, so I guess let's see. I think I'm missing a parenthesis. So that's for that. Um, do I have an extra <laughs> brace here? So I have this one for the if, this one for the while, and then this one should be for that. Right? Okay, actually I have an extra one right there. Wait. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I have that one there, that one there, there. Okay. So then, um, yeah, like I said, we'll have a Boolean function here, and I guess we can make it private. Um, compare strings. 
and it's going to be static. And then this one also needs to be static. So we're going to have uh, our needle. And then we'll say um, int uh, p2 equals zero. And then we'll say um, so we'll do while p is less than, or we'll do while p2 is less than needle dot length. And then we're going to do the character by character comparison. So p2.char at, uh, sorry. At p. Then we'll do increment. And then once we get to the end, we know that all the characters match and then we'll return true. So then up here, we can call that helper function. So we'll say if, um, so we'll say if compare strings needle a stack and p. Then we'll do result dot add p, and then finally we can return results. Okay. Um, so I think I'm done. Do you want me to try and run that? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So we'll do. Um, so I guess we'll have result. Um, and then I guess we'll try it with your sample here. So, and then we'll print out result. So, run that and I think right here yeah and comment that out and it looks like we might have an infinite loop so I think here I forgot to increment P right so so at the end of this statement we'll do a p plus plus so let's try that so 2 and 14 okay I think that's 0 1 2 and then 14 uh, do I'm gonna try and run it okay. on some more ca use cases yeah go for it okay mm -hmm. um, so so maybe we'll do it when yeah, we'll have this one ABC be longer. We'll do it um, on maybe when there's no matches, something like that. Uh, So I think it should just be 214 and then it should be nothing after that, right? Because these shouldn't have any, any matches. Um, maybe we'll do one. Sure. I mean, I guess I think that looks good unless you want me to try more cases. Okay. Let's just try a couple more examples okay. here. 
It looks like you're sending in your needle first. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, zero, one, two, three. Okay, cool. So let's also try something with an empty needle. Something yeah. Like that. Okay. okay so that might be causing issues. Okay. So. So we have out of bounds index zero. Um, so, so when we pass in the needle, we have an empty string. Um, so if we're doing needle dot length, it's not greater than haystack dot length. So we'll say while P is greater than, I guess seven minus zero. If haystack see okay, so if we're doing we're doing haystack that char at zero, but that doesn't exist. So when it tries to access it on line forty one, we get an error. Um, yeah, when it does needle dot char at zero, it'll be there is no zero because there's no nothing. So um, what we can do, I guess, is we could just I think the best way to handle that would just to be uh, to do a check. Um, so. Actually, I guess I want to ask you if we have an empty string as a needle, does that mean that everything is a match or we or nothing is a match? Yeah, what do you think would be the best uh, approach? That, what, 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 what makes the most sense to you? Um, I think it's... Well, like in this case, um, when we have a bunch of Bs, if we have like an empty string and a B, uh, I guess, mm, so I mean, so are the indices pointing at a character? Are they pointing in between characters? What are they yeah, so at? I mean, yeah, so the indice here was there is no really indice. So I guess, I mean, it doesn't really make sense to have an empty string that is in a haystack. Because the empty string uh -huh. is, I guess, could, we can consider it a string itself. Yeah. So, yeah. So what, what, would be, so if, what would be the best thing to have put there? Um, I think we can maybe just check it as a special case, where if we say if needle.length sure. is zero, then we can just return, mm -hmm. we'll return result. Um, so I guess okay. we, could, we could even have it maybe in here. If needle dot length equals zero or that and mm. oh. oh it didn't okay. I think Okay. It just didn't yeah, print out anything. Yeah, because we don't okay. have any matches. Yeah. 